Overseas protests continue in Israel following last week's passage of a controversial measure that weakens the ability of the nation's Supreme Court to overturn government actions. And now, one week after the law passed through Parliament, NBC News sat down with the man at the center of it all, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In a wide-ranging interview, our foreign correspondent Raf Sanchez asked the Prime Minister about the protests rocking his country and much more. And Raf joins us now live from Tel Aviv, Israel. Raf, it's good to see you. Tell us more about your interview with the Prime Minister. Well, Willie, the prime minister gave absolutely no indication of backing down. He said it was worth it to get this legislation through, despite the deep divisions it's caused in Israeli society. A poll last week found 56 percent of Israelis fear there is a real danger of civil war. And the divisions it's caused in the Israeli military, where thousands of reservists have said they will not show up for duty in protest at this legislation. Netanyahu told us there's not going to be a civil war. He said he believes that when the dust settles, people will accept his argument that this was a necessary reform to take power out of the hands of unelected judges, put it back into the hands of elected politicians. I can tell you that is not an argument the protesters are buy-in. I also had a chance to ask him about tensions in the U.S.-Israel relationship. You'll remember, Willie, President Biden urged the prime minister not to go ahead with this legislation without consensus. The prime minister pushed ahead anyway. The president has also been critical of Netanyahu's decision decision to include far-right politicians in his cabinet. Netanyahu told us the relationship has its ups and downs, but it's mainly its ups. But Willie, one specific part of this interview is leading the news here in Israel today, and that is this question of whether later this year the Israeli Supreme Court might strike down this legislation, effectively ruling to preserve its own power, and whether or not Netanyahu will abide by that ruling if it doesn't go his way. Take a listen. If Israel's Supreme Court strikes down your legislation, will you abide by their ruling? I think we have to follow two rules. One is Israeli governments abide by the decisions of the Supreme Court. And at the same time, the Supreme Court respects the uh, basic laws, which are the closest thing we have to a constitution. Uh, I think we should uh, have, we should keep both principles, and I, and I hope we do. So you are committing, if the Supreme Court strikes down this legislation, you will abide by that ruling? Remember what I said. I hope that they don't strike down, because I think we should abide by both rules. Uh, and it, it's a peculiar thing. It would be, in American terms, as though the Supreme Court that is charged with uh, keeping the Constitution would uh, nullify uh, a constitutional amendment as unconstitutional. So it, it sort of turns on itself, and it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I, I hope it doesn't happen. Prime Minister, with respect, to change the American Constitution, it has to be done by consensus. Two-thirds of the House, two-thirds of the Senate, three-quarters of the states. This legislation was not passed by consensus, a simple majority. But the, Supreme, the, Court, the Supreme Court in Israel itself said that the basic laws that are passed by uh, a supermajority in the Knesset, uh, or a, a, not an incidental majority in the Knesset, is the uh, basis of the Constitution. They call it a Constitution. So every country has its own quote, Constitution, and by the Supreme Court's own definition, this basic law that they're now dealing with is part of our Constitution. Willie, you heard there, I asked him twice, neither time did he definitively say yes, he would abide by the Supreme Court's ruling. And to the ears of many Israelis, they feel their prime minister is hinting at the possibility of a constitutional crisis if this ruling doesn't go his way, because the Israeli Supreme Court, like the American Supreme Court, does not have enforcement power, it doesn't have police, it doesn't have an army, it just has this long-standing norm that the government respects its rulings, and if we get to a point where the prime minister doesn't, then Israeli democracy really is in uncharted waters. Willie? Yeah, and as you press the prime minister so well there, it will be fascinating to watch if the Supreme Court does overturn this. Then what? NBC's Raf Sanchez live from Tel Aviv. Raf, well done. Thanks so much. You can watch his full interview, of course, at NBCNews.com.